Let's get right over to CBS News Miami's Joan Murray. She joins us live from Dania Beach. It was one of the hardest hit areas during the historic flooding. So Joan, how are neighbors trying to get ahead of the situation now? Well, drainage is happening in this business park, but you can see that there is still some high water, and that's because of a lake, a drainage lake nearby. So this is a story in a lot of areas. Draining has happened, but there are pockets of flooding that still exist. And we were looking at some areas, including Fort Lauderdale, where they have solutions to the flooding problem. But the water actually came to here. And it came my laundry room. Flood water nearly invaded his Fort Lauderdale home last week. John Machonis lives in Edgewood, the neighborhood devastated by flooding 14 months ago. Last year was insane. Last year was four feet of water in my house. Did you replace everything? Yes. His neighbor, Tony Schreiber, got a couple of inches of water in his home. He says the city did help. There were a lot of drainage trucks here immediately after we had all the rain, which is great because we got the water back down again and if it was going to rain again it would have kept it from getting worse. Uh, what would be what would be better if there was something preemptive? Fort Lauderdale has been working on drainage issues in Edgewood. They spent 14 and a half million dollars laying new stormwater pipe. There are three pump stations nearby but only one was online during the flooding last week. In their progress report they list all the projects underway to get ahead of the flooding. Edgewood shows nearly completion. Other flood prone areas like Melrose show improvements will happen in the next few years. So it came in uh, maybe 10, 12 inches the first day and it kept rolling in and then you turned around and it comes in like a train. Ken Schleisman said his landlord is trying to get approval to fix this drainage lake that keeps overflowing. But he does wish Dania Beach would send pump trucks after storms like last week's. Well, I wish they would come out and maybe pump the lake down for us once in a while. Once it gets caught, they get caught up doing their thing, taking care of everybody. Come down, maybe get this lake drained down a little bit because it's never done this before. I've been here since 92. So another look at that drainage lake. Now that business owner tells me that the uh, owner of this business park has put in a proposal to try to pump this water underground. They say because a lot of the construction in the area, hotels and other things, that is only contributing to this lake getting higher. And we reached out to a number of communities in South Florida and because of last week's flooding, a lot of them are looking at their drainage situation and possible improvements down the road. In Dania Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.